Hi, I'm James Schellinglaw. I'm here with a very familiar face to those of you who watch us. Uh, Christine Karst, who is the Executive Vice President and co-owner of AMA Waterways. And we're here on a ship that's been long awaited here on the Danube, the AMA Magna. And we're going to talk all about that ship and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, Christine, uh, this is really a game changer vessel for you and for the river cruise industry, I think. Tell us a little bit about the features you think that make this uh, Emma Magna stand out. Obviously, the size. It ha how many passengers does it have? 192. Okay. So this is only about 17% more mm -hmm. than on our traditional ships, while we have twice of the size. Right. And it is about the luxury of space. Uh, our guests are wowed when they enter the ship and go into their stateroom. Uh, because might, they're really big staterooms. The really. average stateroom is 355 square feet. That's normally a suite on board a traditional yeah. river cruise ship. Yeah. But it's not just about the luxury of the stateroom. It is about the public areas, the space. It is about having a choice of four different restaurants. And they are all very different mm -hmm. from very upscale, our chef's table, to our beautiful alfresco restaurant. And of course, having the cozy Jimmy's wine bar. And that is after, after, Jimmy Jimmy uh, uh, after exactly, after Jimmy Murphy, who was a good friend of mine and, and obviously a partner and good friend of yours, uh, who, you know, the late Jimmy Murphy passed away a few years ago. But someone said Jimmy would be uh, mm -hmm. uh, appalled, and but maybe kind of pleased that you named a restaurant after him. I think, I think he would be extremely proud yeah. and, and he is with us, of course, in our heart. Yeah. So all these different venues are spectacular and the decor and, you know, everything is very chic and cool and, and our guests love it. But there's more to it. Mm. Um, we have a lot more younger or more active guests on board again. Right. And they have commented on how happy they are with our Zen Wellness Studio. Yeah, that's a big thing too. You have in the, in, the, in the stern of the ship, you actually don't have a restaurant in the stern. You have a Zen Wellness Studio with kind of a juice and, and water bar. Healthy and of course, bar, healthy massages, juice bar. Two massage rooms now, manicure, pedicure, um, the hairdresser. But we also have now spinning bikes. And spinning bikes with the view, it cannot get better. Now we have almost a waiting list in the morning. We start at 6.30 earlier than we actually wanted right. to do it because seven o'clock more than, you know, can do it than what the number of bikes Absolutely. that we have on board. And so this area is used very well. Of course, also the sun deck, very, very special. It's huge, sun the sun deck. And that is something when yeah. you get on this sun deck, you'll see uh, it suddenly becomes, you say, wow, this ship is pretty wide. In fact, to the point where I said, mm -hmm. are we going to get through the locks? Well, we just did two, so I think we're okay. I think this is actually a ship that caters to the taste of luxurious ocean guests, mm -hmm. ocean passengers who have not made their entrance into river cruising because of the fear that river cruising is too limited, the staterooms are too small, there's not enough to do, not enough restaurants where they have a variety. So the Amamatna has it all. It's mm. truly a revolutionary ship. It's a new dimension in river cruising. And I would say, it's an addition to the game. Well, because doubt, the yeah, other uh, ships are beautiful too. Well, mm. absolutely. You have mm. your, 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 your existing ships are wonderful. And this is a very different kind of product. Uh, we said as we, we're heading into grind right now, we're, we're docking right here. Yeah. Uh, but the, the other thing about this, obviously we're in sort of one of the libraries here. You don't have the classic big long lounge and that's the main public space. You actually break it up a little bit, right? You're into the lounge and this, right? Yeah, because we feel everyone wants to have their private space, yeah? Our guests, of course, we have groups on board. It's nice to spread them out into the different areas. Even when it comes to evening entertainment, not everyone likes to enjoy the classical music mm -hmm. that traditionally is played on a river cruise ship in the evening after dinner. Some want to play cards, some just want to chat, mm -hmm. some want to have a family reunion. Mm -hmm. And the children, they are very active using our movie theater. Yeah, well, I just said we're right next to the movie theater here, which is a huge screen. You can actually get all the television stations and the on-demand movies. Uh, it's a nice addition. I didn't, haven't really gotten a chance to try it out, although I hear when uh, they had uh, uh, America won the World Cup, the American <laughs> women won the World Cup, that there was quite a crowd there. Right? <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. So, so this is really nice. So normally on a, on a regular rover cruise ship, you see each guest all the time. Yeah? Here... 
you know, everyone is like in their own corners and the same as the restaurants. So nothing looks crowded or mm. feels crowded. Nothing is noisy. There is so much space. It is extremely generous yeah. the way it's built. And we believe this is the future also in river cruising. I think you're right. At least it's, it's part of the future along with your existing ships, but it's a very different kind of experience for the rivers. And and right now you're doing the entire Danube, right? You you can do the upper Danube, which we are up going up and we just were in Vienna and mm -hmm. uh, from Budapest. And then you can go down below that, right? Yeah. And we will do it next year. Obviously the first year our main area between Budapest and Wilshofen and next year we will have quite a number of departures going the lower Danube from Budapest again but then towards Bucharest with Serbia, Croatia, Romania, Bulgaria and uh, Istanbul is coming up as a very hot destination oh, yeah. again. So we have actually our new Istanbul pre and post land extension. Well, well you, you and I will have to do that lower Danube cruise because I've, I've never, I've never, it. I've never done the lower Danube. I'd I, love to. I think it is the most interesting itinerary when it comes to history. Mm -hmm. Maybe not the most beautiful when it comes to beautiful buildings and historical sites along the river, but extremely interesting. And I see today. Everyone wants to see the countries that were beyond the Iron Curtain. It's Before. almost 30 years now, right? It was 89 right. and the world changed here in Europe. And now we have 2019. It changed for you too, right? <laughs> it changed for me too. And I can say now I have lived the majority of, of, of my life on the Yasser side. Uh, but I grew up, as you know, in Dresden, in the former eastern part of Germany. And I'm very happy that I did because I see both sides and uh, I can judge and I can value, but I'm very happy to be here. Yeah, well, we and have, uh, we, festivities we have festivities here? coming out here and uh, where they're going to greet us with a band, obviously, and we're going to have a christening ceremony with Samantha Brown, who's the godmother. Uh, so we're just actually doing this right before that christening ceremony. Yeah. But I guess to, to close, give me the three things you would like travel agents to remember about how to sell this beautiful Emma Magna. Well, it is pure luxury it is like really a floating boutique hotel but still very homey yeah it's in, in the comfort of your own home and your family your family feeling does not go away with this and of course this is what makes Ama waterways really different and outstanding it's the heart and the soul or our cruise managers they have actually defined it with the word flaps which means family loyalty enthusiasm or energy as well, passion and sparkle. And that's what you can see here across the ship from all the crew members, the cruise manager, everyone who's here on board, but also our guests, the way how they come and take ownership of this ship. It's a delight to see it. We are absolutely excited about this. Yeah. Well, I'm very excited to be here on this cruise, this christening cruise. You've been in operation a month or so already, but uh, the ship is magnificent. It's a total game changer in the way river cruises operate. And I think your clients are going to love it. Uh, and, and again, I actually have met a couple who had never been on a cruise mm -hmm. and this is their first cruise about ocean or river. So obviously you're, you're, it's already working for they, some people. They mentioned right? to you, right? That's not their last cruise. And yes, we have a lot uh, of first-time guests on board because the Danube River is usually the river that everyone chooses when they come from either ocean to river or from land to river or wherever they come from it's either the Danube or the Rhine mm. so that's why such a high number of first-time guests but even if you are a past passenger there's so much to do because we offer so many different show excursions all in small groups no matter if it's your biking or your hiking tour or your culinary tour or you just do the regular city tour so Budapest or Vienna or tasting all the apricots that are here in season oh, right yes. now in July Mark Abbey there's so much to do so um, we couldn't be more happy and we look forward to a great future with this ship but of course also our growing fleet because Next week, we will be on our newest ship, the Amamora on the Rhine River. You just keep launching those ships. Well, Christine, I know you got to go because you got a christening to attend, uh, which <laughs> is coming up right away. We were just doing this right before it again. Uh, thank you again for the opportunity to be on this ship. It's been great to see you, as always, and uh, really looking forward to the rest of our cruise and looking forward how, to see how this ship does in the future. I think it's going to be fantastic. Thank you so much, James. It's always a pleasure to have you. And thank you for, for coming and joining us. I'm James Schillinglaw, 
and this is Insider Travel Report on the Amamagna. Magna.